munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and welcome to a surprise haul video today from Twilight Chinchillas. Now Twilight Chinchillas is local to Washington State here where my rescue and myself are currently housed and I wanted to share with you what we got and how this all kind of started. As you all should know, I own a rescue named Munchie's Place for Homeless Pets. I care for hamsters, shrivels, and mice but currently we have two guinea pigs in our care right now and a very special shop that I've been following for a while named Twilight Chinchillas reached out to my rescue and asked if they could donate some items because the owner, Christine, her son is a big fan of the YouTube channel and of course of what we do here which is rescuing. She also has a background story in rescuing as well and caring for animals just like me. So I found that to be amazing that this local artist, and I'm calling her an artist because all of her handmade items are very amazing and it's just well thought out and drawn and created and I love it and so even though this was a donation I said hey do you mind if I could just film this and put this up I mean I want to give you a little shout out because I've been following you for a while and so I actually went ahead <laughs> and purchased one of her items for the Christmas giveaway that I was doing so I will show you at the end of the video what that item is and I want to show you the box it came in so there's this box right here it's pretty heavy but then again all these are wood items she made mainly focuses on chinchillas and also hamsters and she makes a wide range of hides, treats, chew toys, just all the little goodies here. So all of her links will be down below in the description. So there's also this one right here too because she said to me that she forgot to send me something so it quickly came in the mail and I'm just gonna open this up for you guys in front of the camera today. And yes, this is a surprise because I don't know what these items are except for the one that I personally had bought. I was told that these were, I think, possibly Christmas theme or possibly Halloween or autumn themed. I I've just been so busy. I'm so sorry, Christine, if you're watching this. And hello Christine son, it's a pleasure to just hear from you guys knowing how much you appreciate these videos and what I do. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so cute. As you can see on the camera as I open up, yes it's Christmas theme. Oh my gosh, how adorable are all of these. Oh my gosh, so there is treats. Aww, little treats. They are a little bit broken up but they look like little popsicle sticks. They're in a Christmas theme little bag here. And let me just go ahead and open up the bag. Ooh, ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, I wanna know what these are. Oh, these are so cute. I wonder if there's a note. I hope there's a note in here. I don't see a note. They are little treats right here that look like they are possibly on with maybe honey, something natural. Yeah, there's so many different colors too. These are very cute if my camera would focus. I know right now it's focused on my face because I have that setting on so you guys could see me clearly. I've been kind of messing with my camera, but this is what they look like and they're very cute. Chew toys and treats. So I'm gonna be passing that around to all the animals in our care. I just wanna know what's in this. I'm trying to look, it kind of looks like an oatmeal blend here. Next we have what looks like some chew toys here. Some more chew toys, but just not chew treats. And it's in a little ho 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 Santa Claus bag. And oh my gosh, are they Reese? They're Reese, oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so cute and you can hang them up too, it looks like. Or maybe they're just in there to be secure. No, 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 they're in there just to be secure. Okay, making sure, because I saw some metal. But look at that, that is just so gorgeous. Oh, and there's a second one here too. Look at that, that is totally adorable. How, how do you craft these? Oh my gosh, and the paint on them too, like the color is just gorgeous. Look at this. Okay, I'm just getting too excited here. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, I wanna know, but as soon as I know, I'm just gonna, you know, hate myself for not doing something as cool as that. I do get a little bit discouraged myself because I used to create stuff, but I'm not really that imaginative. If I see something, then I can like create what it kind of looks like, but I just, I have no creativity when it comes to myself. Well, at least that I can really credit and be proud and be like, wow, I came up with that idea. I used to make Pokemon designs for Gen 2 before Gen 2 even came out, and I have those pictures somewhere when I was growing up, but they're really not that imaginative, yeah. But this stuff is awesome. Now, this one, oh gosh, do I need to go grab scissors? I was hoping not to grab scissors. Ah! Oh, I broke it. I broke it, oh well, it's okay. No, I meant the wrapping, not the, not the items. We have some more chews here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look, we got a little Santa boot and or stocking. 
all these Santa boots? Oh my gosh, they are all Santa boots. Oh no, I lied. Okay, this is a gingerbread. Gingerbread right here. God, look how gorgeous that is. That is layered too. There is so much texture going on here, which is great because if you have something like this, it's just like one, two, three, four. It's a four in one shoe. So that is fantastic. If you get stuff like this, it provides so much more texture than just providing them with like the same basic stuff over and over and over again. That's why I tell people all the time, especially if they're adopting from our rescue, to make sure to add a plethora of different textures. Three gingerbreads and three shoes. Those are so cute. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be saying thank you a lot in here because I am really grateful and these are all very cute. Oh gosh, the tape is just going to destroy me though. Oh, I hate it. It's very strong tape. I do like that. All right, is this another wreath? I just don't want to break it because you know it's made of sticks and I want the hamsters and mice to break this stuff. By the way, mice, they are hard little workers. They really love chewing these types of textures and they like adding them to their nest. So if anybody owns a colony of mice, you can understand their need to want to chew, destroy, and then create their own unique nest area. Oh, oh, what came out? Okay, so it looks like we do have another reef here. So we got a reef again. And then we have individual trees of different sizes. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh man, this, oh, this would be great for a cage theme. I know my cage theme this year, I didn't put a disclaimer on it, but it was originally kind of like a playpen because it didn't have a lot going on for it and I totally forgot, so I do apologize there, guys. Thank you for not chewing my heads off. I do appreciate that. I was very overwhelmed this holiday season. But there's another one right there. So we got three. Christmas trees. I don't know if these are gonna be around till next year. I mean, I kind of want to give it to them now, so I'm probably gonna do that. All right, this item here is what I had purchased, so I'm just gonna save that for the end of the video. Oh my gosh, what's this? So here we are. We're getting into like the hides and climbing toys for the hamsters. Now there's different sizes. There is gonna be some suitable for dwarf hamsters. There's gonna be some suitable for Syrians. This is a go-to place for Syrian hamsters. Why you may ask? Because you don't see a lot of hamster stuff online that is for Syrians. You see a lot of dwarf suitable stuff and Syrian hamsters like to climb, they like to perch, they like to explore. It gets their energy out, it prevents them from being bored. It's really great. And so when I first saw her, I don't know how I found her because I followed her before I even knew she was a fan of me. That was just amazing. Just, you know, hearing from her and being like, oh my gosh, I knew this person. But yeah, Twilight Chinchillas has been kind of on my mind for a very long time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we're getting prepared for Valentine's Day, my goodness. So here's a little climber. This looks like it would be really great for a dwarf hamster here. But if you see this, it is a layered climbing toy here where there is a little treat section that you can put some treats inside of here. But this is so cute, XOXO, kiss me, be mine. That is adorable. Wow, look at that. The colors are so beautiful too. I like that. And then, I don't know if you can see, probably can if you look at it like this, but there's hearts inside of there. Right there, you see that? On the inside, if you can take a really good look. Oh, that's so cool, thank you, thank you so much. All right, let's see the next ones. Oh, I think we got some more chews. This might be some more chews. Let me just, oh gosh, oh, these are so tight. I'm so sorry, making a video and trying to get these off might be a bit boring to you guys, but I appreciate it when you're very patient and nice about it. I don't know what these are. I wonder if these are supposed to be feet, you know, feet to a bigger contraption here. So that might be what it is. It might be feet like you see feet right here on this one. So let me just put these off to the side because they are pink. And let's look at the rest of the items here. So this one, oh, oh, is this a summertime one? This looks like it might be one of her summertime items because she does do a lot of really cool things. She does, if anybody's wondering, custom orders. You just gotta follow her website's instructions. Please follow instructions. You don't know how many times in my rescue when people contact me not following instructions and I'm like, instructions were in the ad. 
why you no do this. <laughs> That's usually when people just inquire saying, hey, do you have any hamsters available in the ad of which the hamsters are available in? And it says, hey, submit a link to the ones you see in our ads. Yeah, that kind of happens often. And it gets kind of overwhelming because I can't just be repeating myself over and over and over again. But sometimes I have to. Yep, this is a summertime collection piece. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, <laughs> this is summer chillin' with the freaking Rocket Pops. I believe those are the Rocket Pops, right? Right, if I remember correctly. But yeah, summertime, look at that. We're just covering all the seasons, aren't we? All the bases here. But that is such a cute design. I love it. I love these types of popsicles. Well, at least as a kid growing up. But this is so clever. I mean, just look at this. Look at this little guy here. He's all smiling. He's so cute. Oh, this is just so precious. Thank you so much. I'll give you guys a closer view if you can see that here. That's what it looks like. All right, I think this might be the last item. Yes, this item is probably why we have little legs here so I can connect them because they wouldn't fit in the box. So let's take a look here. I see some lemons, which is great because I have a lemon hide just hiding in my closet. I've been wanting to do kind of like um, a fruit theme, you know, a fruit theme, something that's really cool. And of course, this will totally match with the lemon I already own, which is great. Oh, I love it. This is the lemonade stand, I want to say. I mean, technically that is what it is. It's a stand, it's a climbing tool, the hamsters are gonna love it. Oh, I just, I love these. These right here just adding kind of like a treat center so the animal can go up this little step onto this floor right here, get on top of here, come over here, maybe chew this a little, and then grab a treat from the jar. That is great. And then let me see the feet, yep. Yep, this is where they were supposed to go, so. By the way, if anybody's wondering, yes, I do have a plethora of kitties behind me. Babs, Ollie, Moxie. Oh, sorry Babs, didn't mean to wake you up. Yes, they all get along, but they all have their own personalities. Ollie is kind of like the outcast. And the reason why is because he is kind of a bully, at least to the smallest of cats here, which, you know, Moxie, you are the smallest of cat. I guess maybe I should say the youngest of cats, which is Finn. Ollie and Finn don't really get along very well. He likes to chase them. But yeah, they actually, they all do very well. And ever since moving out to the new place, they have just been loving it. That is what it looks like. And again, I'll show you up front and close and personal. I also love how there's pink inside of here. It's like yellow on the outside, pink on the inside. Love it. It's like pink lemonade. It is the pink lemonade stand. And the last item before we hit the item that I purchased for the giveaway. Oh, 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 wait, what, what, what? <laughs> oh. Okay, this must have been a last minute thing. I think this might have been a last minute thing. Christine, this is a last minute thing. This is so sweet. I really, really like this, like when I purchased kind of the same theme for my giveaway. I said to myself, darn, I probably should have bought one for myself because <laughs> they're not gonna be around next year unless she goes with similar designs next year. But you know, that's waiting a whole year for something like that. But look at this. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, little winter theme here. I love that and I love the colors and the mitten. The mitten is the best part of this entire thing. I just. I loved it so much and I love how the snowflake fits within the mitten here. So this is a really small item here. I would probably use this for maybe a dwarf. I mean, you can use these small ones for Syrian hamsters too. They can totally walk all over this. This is so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I just, I'm gonna have to say thank you a thousand times until um, I stop saying it, but I hope you get that I really appreciate this. That is so sweet. All right, now. Since you saw this, oh wait, you didn't see close up, did you? There you go, close up on that. That is pretty. That is really pretty, oh my gosh. I hope this gives you guys ideas, because this is awesome. All right, so the winner piece that one lucky winner won this year, thanks to my Christmas event. And I got this thinking of you guys, thinking this would be like so fun to use. A lot of people were asking me if I would do a Christmas theme, but I think Christmas theme at this point would have been too far gone. You know what I'm saying? Because by the time you get the item, Christmas is already over. And that was around the time I was gonna announce the winner. So winter, hey, winter goes on for a couple more months. So why not do a winter theme for you guys? So 
congrats to the lucky winner. You won yourself one of these beautiful, handcrafted, hand-painted items from Twilight Chinchilla. I hope you guys enjoy it. This was just so cute. I love the colors. I love the dark red mitten with the light snowflakes and just the dark blue. Oh, the dark blue is just so gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I want to show you. These two, just having them be side by side. I mean, like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please go give Twilight Chinchillas a like on Facebook and other social media sites that she is currently on. Please go fully support her. She has all of my support and love. Thank you so, so much for the donations for the rescue hamsters, gerbils, and mice. We don't have any gerbils right now, but I still say gerbils because eventually we're gonna get some gerbils in, I swear. But thank you so much. If you liked today's video, hit like to show support. Comment down below with anything you like to say and subscribe if you're new here and would like to see more from me. Thanks everyone and have a wonderful rest of your holiday season. Bye bye!